It's a Polish tradition that you can share with your family this holiday season. We're talking about Polish porcupine ornaments. And we're making them today with a pro. We have Anne's Lodgy here. It's so good to see you and so good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And so you make these beautiful creations and using all kinds of different paper. This looks like it's a sheet of music. Yes, I actually use, um, because of the fact that I'm really into repurposing, I like to try to use different materials. So this one is made from sheet music. Um, this one is made from wrapping paper and Aww. typically whenever I teach I use wrapping paper because it's an easier easier medium to mm -hmm, work with. Mm -hmm. um, but I've made it, this one's a little mini one and it's a map. It's a map. So for those people that travel you could give them a map um, and I will show you how everything comes together today. Um, but basically, the whole ornament takes about two hours mm -hmm. to finish. Mm -hmm. So obviously, wow. we're not going to do one today. Yes. But, um, we're going to start you, one, though. the steps. Yes. yes. Okay. So you have actually some wrapping paper, which is a good good source for us since we're yes. just starting out for the first time. Yes. And what are we doing? How are we okay. getting started? So the process is really kind of easy until you get to the point where you're, you're rolling the points. You start with just basically a CD or DVD. Perfect size. Mm -hmm. Trace the circle with the wrapping paper. Okay. Then you you can fold it up like I did here and it gives you cut lines. So you end up with these little eight points that you end up cutting mm -hmm. and you have 12 of these circles. So eight times 12 you end up with a star that has 96 points. And so how are we rolling? This is what you, you've shown us the next step which looks this like this. This is the next step. So you'll end up with 12 of these, a little star that has eight points. And how do we roll these? Okay, here you go. I'm going to give you each a pencil. Oh, oh I have, yeah, a pencil. You have, you have a one. pencil. Yeah, that's a good trick And here. you can each have a little glue stick as okay. well. Okay. Okay. You have one there and I'll give you one there. So basically what you do is you take your pencil, you put it in the middle of this one piece of paper, you're going to fold it over and it's mm -hmm. a little tricky. Roll it backwards and then you roll it forward. And are we just oh. trying to get that circular, like you're trying oh, to wait. shape the paper a little bit? Shape the paper, exactly. And then once you get that little point, oh, you're you going to take it. your glue Down. and you're going to hold it for about four or five seconds. Now this is the time consuming part of the ornament because you got to do this 96 times. <laughs> Is that how so, 96 wow. times? 96 so, points, 96 times. Is there times. a significance with 96? Does 96 that mean um, ha I don't means that good fortune, it. it means success, it means prosperity. So the ornaments when they first were started, and I'm not sure who came up with doing 96. You need help? I do. Oh, I don't okay. know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying. That's okay. Uh, I go through this every time when I teach. Okay, so, so basically you're holding this here, mm -hmm. you're going to take this, Roll it backwards a little oh, bit. Oh, you're using the more and of the point. And then roll it forward. I see. Then you're and taking then your you little, take it. Yep. See, I was using the body of the pencil, but it's more so the it's point. It's the tip. It's, yeah. it's the point. Okay. There and you then go. you hold that in place until it dries. Yeah. Which is about four or five Easy seconds. Easy peasy. So. Ninety-six times. And, Nine, and you said how long does it take to make these? About. On well, it takes me about an hour and a half, but uh -huh. in class, it's it's about two hours. This is fun. You're teaching this to other people, but people can also buy your products. Where can they find you? At the Pittsburgh Botanic Garden. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching this Saturday um, at one o'clock. And again, it's a two hour class, mm -hmm. but then the Botanic Garden has graciously accepted to carry these in their store That's so they can wonderful. buy them in the event you don't want to take the class or you have limitations that you can't. So for mm -hmm. instance, if you have any issues with manual dexterity or th arthritis, not Just come and buy them. Yes. Just come and buy them. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Really wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I love this. I think we may need to take the class too. So too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, learn how to create your own ornament with a class at the Pittsburgh Botanic Gardens this Saturday, November 9th at 1 o'clock. We will have a link to all of the information you need on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.